Well, hello, and welcome to this week's tune-up tip called, Do You Have the Imposter Syndrome? So the imposter syndrome is a psychological syndrome that was coined in 1978. And what it means is that if you are a successful person, but you just can't believe it's true. <laughs> it's also called the fraud syndrome where women in particular, especially back then, who were very successful, actually could not internalize their successes. About a year and a half ago, I had a major experience with having my own imposter syndrome moment, which I'll share with you right now. I was invited to do um, a photo spread in Italian L by Amanda de Cardinet, who is a fashion photographer. It was a story on um, changing the face of healing. Right. So it was about healers from all over the world, all over the country, doing good things in the world. It's very exciting. So when I got invited to be a part of this, I literally couldn't believe it. I thought it had to be a mistake. So although I said yes, and as I'm on my way to the studio that morning, I'm walking. I, I literally emailed her back saying, okay, so I'm coming, waiting for her to be like, oh yeah, no, I didn't mean you. And up to the point where I walked in to that photo shoot, I could not believe that it was, I was like, how, how is it possible that I got invited to this? Just for those moments that I experienced that in my life, it was so stressful and so distressing. Um, it didn't last. I'm sure that this happens to many people in my, my therapy practice. Women especially talk all the time about feeling like they really don't know what they're doing, but they've managed to trick everyone in their entire industry, which is not likely. So if you feel like you have the imposter syndrome or have that experience, I can tell you a couple of things that can help you get away from that experience. One is to sit down, and when you're feeling this way, is to write a list of your accomplishments. Be mindful of your language, because if you attribute your success to luck, to being in the right place at the right time, to someone just really liking you, but it's not really about your skills. These are all ways that we stay in that feeling of not being worthy of the success that we have actually built. So I'm gonna ask you to write a list of what are the things that you've accomplished in your career, in your life that you're proud of, and actually have that at the ready so that when you have this feeling of being found out because you're not good enough, you can look and see, oh yes, I have actually done those things. I had a therapist once who asked me, I would come in and always talk about how lucky I was in my careers as an agent and what are the other things that I've done. And she said, why do you keep saying you're lucky? Or do you think that you're, you're a successful agent, you're running an agency because you're lucky? And then she said, do you work hard? And I was like, yes, I have always worked hard. And suddenly I realized it was like I was not owning my accomplishments because you don't want to threaten someone else. There's a lot of reasons we do that, but it's important for you to actually own what it is you've done in your life. So I would love to hear your thoughts about the imposter syndrome. So if you like this tip, please like it on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have a thought, please drop a comment on the blog. If you are not on my mailing list, please go over there and jump on there right now so we can stay in touch. I hope you have an amazing week. And as always, take care of you.